okay. Watch the chart. That's why I said, wait a minute. I have a chart in my hand. We're going to do the same thing we did yesterday. Introduction. No, we're going to go straight into it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Can you put it on the other thing so I can see the... Yeah, right. It's not... Or, or fix it. Oh yeah, yeah, I got you. Because it... Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. We're going to groom a schnauzer together. We'll be on for about 30 minutes or so, I think. And then we'll come back on right after, possibly, depending on timing, and do Dotsons together. Okay. Now, good morning. I just... No. Okay, so we got Zoe here. She's a schnauzer. They've been coming to me for a long time. Their file is huge because that's how long they've been coming here since 2010. Wow. Nine years. Nine years like Cynthia. Wow. So, here's the deal. The pet parent is about to have surgery. But, that's not the only reason. This is her pet. She wants the dog very, 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 very short, okay? And when, with um, her husband passed away, and we, we did that a little bit on YouTube a long time ago, so now she wants to make sure that, you know, she, when she comes out, are you okay? When she comes out, you know, we do a shortcut because she has to do everything by herself. So she has to bring one dog at a time because schnauzers are real wild and she, they're running around pulling and all this stuff. She doesn't want to hurt herself. So we've done a couple things. I did mobile grooming for her for a little while, and she opted that uh, she preferred me coming to the salon, which is a little bit of a drive for her at her age, she said. So she brings all three dogs, usually in three days, one dog a day. And if she needs help with one of them, yesterday that one pulls really, the white schnauzer, she pulls a lot. Like jerking, pulling, jerking, pulling. That's a schnauzer, okay? Unless you do training. So you, it's one or the other. Schnauzers are real curious. They want to look at everything, smell everything, dig up holes. And that's just what they do. So she has three. <laughs> They're yappers. They like to bark a lot, um, at least in this case, because when I go over, the, they're all attacking the window if you um, pull up. So short, short, short haircut, short, short, short chin. She's going into surgery, so she won't be do, doing anything. Does she brush now? No, not really. So that's what we're working on. So that's what we're going to do, and we're going to get started. Okay, let's do this. All right. April, May, June. Really? Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, April, May, June, to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, so we're going to do, like, short tan everywhere. Trying to think if I did a seven reverse yesterday on the white dogs. That white dog, the white schnauzer, so hair is so thick. Get your okay. Here we go. We're gonna start. I always start here on the neck. I like to start there. You get your pattern all nice and laid out, but we're gonna do an all-over haircut anyway. Okay, I'm just going to double check something before I take it all off. She said there was a couple things she said, you know, so I'm thinking as I'm grooming, right, and thinking about you guys and thinking about all kinds of stuff. So she said, 
do her normal haircut, but yesterday she said, if I don't tell you later, I want them all very short because I'm going to go to surgery. So, yesterday, let's see here, 10 all over, leave very short eyebrows. So, that's what I would assume we're doing. But let's look back at the last time we groomed her. And just, I'm going to just do a quick look over and double check. Because when she walked in today, she's, and then I, you know what I mean? Like that communication is not clear, so you need to know what you're talking about. She goes, Dee Dee, do her normal stuff. And I said, but short, right? She goes, yes. Okay, so now let's look at the normal stuff and compare it to the short. So we are looking at the Zoe, the silver pet, 10 all over. She had a matted chin one time in June. You had a matted chin in June. Uh, left your eyebrows, dremel the paws. Okay, so we definitely want to do the dr All the dogs get dremel due to their age and their skin. What has happened as they've gotten older uh, with their skin issues. Skin, p human skin, like your arms and stuff get torn real easy as you get older. Okay, and depending on what med medicines you might be on. So, tin all over it is. It's always good to be safe than sorry. If you don't like the shave down, you don't have to watch. This is not your pet. This is her pet. And I'm listening to the pet owner, and this is what she wants to do. So here we go. We're going to do what the pet owner wants. As long as it's pretty reasonable, not crazy requests. How many of you guys out there have a schnauzer? Say, I have a schnauzer. Who has a schnauzer out there? Anybody have schnauzers? I've been grooming you for nine years. Nine years, girlfriend. Yeah, schnauzer, snorkies, husky mixes, ooh. Did I see Tiffany's? I don't even want to ask. What is that? What's a Tiffany's? You don't like that? Let me give you this one. Hold on, don't go nowhere. Let's see, I did a table there.
She's pulling, so you gotta tell her to stop. Come in, grab the face here, from this one. Head is looking up far down. I don't love that. I may have to change that. There's something that we need to be doing over there. The whole reason that what do you need to be doing over there, over there the de moving those uh, downloads. Oh. There's a reason why that you're here this early. Oh, I know. Look. Okay. Look. Well, one sure. Okay. Are you finishing those? Yeah, sure. You don't have to finish those though, but I mean, thank you. This is a Timblade. I'm using Timblade Ceramic. But there's something else I brought that laptop in for. I just don't want you to waste that time that you have right now. He doesn't understand what I'm trying to say. See, the looking down thing is not great or good or, you know, but it's hard to groom. If you can imagine grooming someone looking down the whole time or looking up the whole time, that thing. So you, if you need to move your groom loop, move your groom loop. And I might have to do that. You know, I got some really cool brooms out there. They're, I don't have pictures for them yet. I'm going to show you a couple. They're, sometimes it's just I got too much going on to take pictures right away. But if there's a bamboo broom, you better go get it. It is so beautiful. There's no picture yet, but see, I don't know what you're doing here, but come forward here. And then I'm going to bring you up more. You got to look up for me. Thank you. See, that's much better. Don't pull back, we're just pointless. Especially if I'm in your armpit like that. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta work with me here. Good girl. Good girl. Don't do it. Don't pull. Good girl. Come on now. No, you're okay. You're okay. Get her done. We gotta get her done. Okay. What do you guys see? You guys seeing okay? We love you back. It's not that bad, but go ahead. We'll just change our blade. So this is blade ten, ten num number ten, blade number three. Quantity wise, third, third one I'm going through. 
And I have some ceramic. I have some Ultra Edge. Um, I like both. I like ceramic because it's faster, sharper. Ultra Edge, a little bit, uh, a little bit inexpensive. You save a couple bucks doing the Ultra Edge. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Let's be to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Thank you, girl. We'll see you in a little bit then, okay? We may come back on for the Dotsons that, I'm coming, that are coming in. I don't know. Dave is up to something over here. I'm walking around like a... Mickey Mouse or something. Got a hairy tummy over there. Hold on here. To record that, David. The white camera's right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's being a goop. <laughs> He's walking around, man. He's looking like a goop. Oh my gosh. Stop, man. What are you doing back there? <laughs> Let's see if he does it again. Let's see if he does this again, what I'm looking at here. What are you doing, bro? I'm just doing it normal. <laughs> this is what I have to work with here, what I'm working with today anyway. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? <laughs> I'm installing the washer. Dryer. The dryer vent? Yeah, the dryer vent. one thing move another thing move him walk <laughs> tiptoeing over I'm like what are you doing dude <laughs> it's freaking hilarious man 
Okay. Again? I'm telling you guys, freaking hilarious. Okay, I'm on my fourth 10 blade, okay? So if you are doing this, you need to have a handful of 10 blades. Okay, ready to go up, 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 up. Rest. Come, this one. Come here. You're back. Keep backing up on me. I don't can't have you doing that. No. Let's go up one more time. Ready? Up, 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 up. You move around and there's more hair. It's like, where did it come from? That's because the coat is a little dirty and there's a little static because of the, the wintertime weather. That's what it is. All right. Let's move you guys over here as we get ready to work on the face. We're going to take it all off with the 10. Check your heat. Maybe I'll come move you guys this way. She wants to look that direction. Every dog's different, so on these guys it's short, short, short on the face, so it all comes off. Real juicy eyeball area, so see how juicy that is? Gunk in the food gunk. So she's a 10 face here. Yeah. Cookie's not like that. The dark one that they have, the dark schnauzer, she's not like that. I don't have to go really short on her face unless they want to. Every dog's different, how they eat, how they act, their demeanor, what they do, and the haircut that they need. Get that stuff out of the mouth. I see them about every, I think, three months. So you're going to see some that is pretty long, right? Don't like it? Not your dog. I can tell you right now, you know, if you're a groomer, it's going to wear out your body. So if you want to be a groomer, just be ready. Plan ahead. You can't plan for losing your arm and stuff like that, but you can do your best on knowledge. Someone walking by, pay attention. One jerk of the head is a wrong situation. See this way, please. Huh? I heard something over there. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, Dana Smith, to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Thank you. All right, so I had some orders on the Bravura, 
You guys are liking that Bravura. I'm kind of liking the Bravura for those little areas. Like right now, I'm going to use the Bravura for the feet. Little face feet sanitary stuff. It's really handy, real lightweight, but you got to keep it charged or prepare yourself in the morning before you do your work. You know, charge up the Bravura. So, some of you guys are getting this Bravura. I think you're pretty happy with it. I wouldn't use it to shave down an entire dog, but these face feet sanitary and a quick uh, toenail area, you know, like shave down the feet, it's nice. So I grab my Bravura, nice and fast, boom, 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 ready to go. I'm going to do the toe pads real quick. Try not to drop it. You go from a corded clipper to a non-corded clipper. It is a little different. You gotta get used to it. Lighter, and there's not a cord pulling at you. You know what I mean? Hold on, sweetie. Hold on, sweetie. No. She's pulling. You don't want me to be up in there? I'm sorry, I have to. You see? How many of you guys are like feeling the weather with me? I mean, yesterday was 78 here or so. I'm kind of warm right now, I can't believe it. Had a jacket on last night. I can't understand what I'm supposed to do. Are you guys having the same issues? Or are you guys still in snow up there? It's 20. Oh, you're not having problems, are you, Janice? Okay, I know you don't like it, but you gotta let me get in there, okay? That's the edge of the table there, okay? You're on the edge of the table, okay? You can't see it, but I'm really holding her. Like, that wears out your hand. You know, you're still, you're pulling the dog, and she's pulling, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's more to it than just what looks easy. So if I don't let, if I don't let go, she's gonna move. Let me see if I don't... You want to sit down? Try that. Sit down. So that's why you want to hurry up. You want to move. Move quickly. You don't want to sit here for 20 minutes. Come on now. You can sit. You can sit. She's like, no. I'm anticipating what you're going to do, Dee Dee. My arm like this is going to keep her from backing up. So I can move faster. There's some of you guys grooming other people's dogs and you guys have them come over at... 8 in the morning, but you have the dog for 6-7 hours. Uh, who's doing that? That's just how you do it, you know what I mean? There's a lady uh, in Guam. She does, like, not so nice dogs. I wouldn't say she does aggressive dogs, but she does some dogs that are, that need, like, for one person to do it by themselves, needs to stop and take breaks. I don't groom like that, but that's, her clients go to work. So she'll do like one dog a day to retirement. She's a friend of mine. So she'll have them bring the dog in the morning before work. But they're kept like in her house hanging out and stuff like that. And she'll she'll work on the dog for hours. Does anybody do that? Well, don't feel bad because we didn't get no snow. We didn't get no snow yet, did we? All right, go ahead and get your ear shear out. We're going to trim the ears together, remember? Keep the ear in your hand and you won't cut it. 
I'll make sure you guys don't have to look down my armpit. Okay, here. Yeah, here. That's a good view. We're going to get ready, uh, get done with the eyebrows. Maybe the nails. I haven't decided if I'm going to do the nails now or later. And then we're going to let you guys go. See how much static there is? It sticks right back to her. Okay. What happens every time we get into winter? Okay, you got your ear shear done. Now let's get our 8.5s. We'll brush these with our shaper brush. All these tools can be found at myfavoritegroomer.com. Okay, let's brush this forward here. Real short eyebrows. See what we got going on here. Just get your um, get your cut now and then come back, tidy it up after the bath. That's what I would do. She's got like a unibrow thing going on here, so we need to cut that off. If you men out there are watching, you got a unibrow, you guys got to go get a wax, okay, man? Go out there, get a wax. I know nobody probably told you that, but I'm telling it to you now. I like to pop that out with my scissor like that. Might as well come back with my blade in there anyway. Just clean it up better. Let's brush this forward here. She loves looking at this side. She loves looking over here. Don't move her. Move yourself. If you have thinning shears, you can use thinning shears here if you want to. Or just bring your blade back out so it don't take so long. And then we're going to come over this one more time anyway after the bath, so. You can do your straight shears if you have those as well. I'm just going to come over here like this. Don't do that. Okay, we're not gonna do that. That's not this is not the time to do that right now. You can turn your scissor around like that too. Practice though. Okay. I remember I was Googling trying to find a better way to do. Yeah, we got some stuff for you today, baby. Alright, I see it. I'll just put it, I'll just put it up. Oh, okay. Kind of wait here. There you go. Oh, this ain't nothing. <laughs> more tomorrow. Okay, we'll see you more tomorrow. Is that everything? Yeah, I'll wait a second. Y'all have a go. Good seeing you. Bye, mailman. We'll see you later. Okay, come here. I'm doing the eyebrows. Oh, the eyebrows. Okay. Thanks. People don't understand, man. Yeah. People don't understand. You know what I'm saying? So I'll bring my tin back for this stuff. Clear that out. Got that trimmed down? Yeah. All right, let's come back here now. Yeah, it doesn't look like Dublin actually went and listened to anything in the very beginning of the video, so 
I don't have a positive comment for that. Uh, except, uh, Dublin's not the paying client. Which is a fact. Thanks for other people trying to explain it to that person. But the truth is in the words that we speak in the beginning of the video. So, and then, then you know, people don't have to explain to other people why they're doing something, do they? Nope. So there's more to the story than what meets the eyes. It's okay, Dublin, but if you just joined, you always got to go back and watch. It's disgusting to me that a dog has to have a certain haircut. I don't think that hurt you, David. I think some of the things that we take things so seriously, like a haircut, I think that what David is trying to say is like something as little as a haircut is such a big deal. It's like a life or death attitude. And I, I understand that, that side of it, which is true. It's like, this is a haircut. The hair is going to grow back. Or someone's like, that's, you didn't say the right breed. I mean, well, why does it have to, why does it have to, like, why do you have to go that far? about how the dog looks? It's just about how the dog feels. Not about how he looks. Look like a... Pull at your hair. So, Dub, so if we're having some problems, y'all can just go to another channel. I really hate to tell you. I don't think I'm being ugly. I'm being very factual. So, you guys don't have to hang out with us. I'm about to get the bomb. All right, we're going to pull some ear hair here. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Just in case. Let's do this. Okay, we'll put this on for just safe parts here. Okay, we'll bring this one out for this ear. All right, here we go. Dublin did say, hey, sorry, I just got here, but... Not excuse for ignorance. Uh, Bro. Okay, hold on here. Hold on. Hey, hey, hey. You're okay, just a little bit here. You're lucky it's not as bad as your sissy yesterday. Yeah, she had lots of your hair. I know you don't like it. Okay, so she's gonna do that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and just get our ear powder and use our fingertips so it's less dangerous with the tools, with that jerking and stuff like that. Because you can actually pull it out real nice and easy with your fingertips too, with the ear powder. Because the ear powder helps you get that grip. And we're just focusing on what is inside the ear. Look at all that I got with my fingertip. See? All right, let's see, let's see about this one. I like to just keep, like, kind of keep your fingers right in there at the same time. Just go pull, 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 but little by little, you know what I mean? That way you can get done faster. Little by little, pull, pull, pull. And once you get the bulk out, we're talking like three months, right? So once you get the bulk out, you'll find you can come back and, and really detail it if you have to. Okay, we'll wash that. Put that there. Let me see here. All right, let's go ahead. We got the muzzle on and stuff. Let's go ahead and do a toenail trim. I'm going to do the dog up stand here. Just for some assistance. Let me get my eye goggles on. Oh, maybe I should tighten that up. Mm. 
These are shooting glasses, okay? They are not see the vein glasses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it could actually help you though, right? How? How? Because when you're shooting, you're aiming to for a target, and when you're clipping them now, you're aiming for not to hit the target. I don't know. But shooting with these on a sunny day, the whole, everything's bright. Like, it looks like I highlighted the grass, I, I highlighted the... Yeah, those are for the shooting range. Where it's like... No, like outdoor shooting? Everything looks highlighted? Yeah. It's hilarious, man. Hold on. Alright, now we're going to drill it, so hold on. I'm literally getting my Dremel. I love the Dremel. You can get that at myfavoritedrimmer.com. They actually tra started changing some brands, so it does look a little different. Or upgrading. They got a new model. Yep, if you don't have the face mask, you'll be breathing that in for sure. Can you guys see the dust? Can you guys see the dust? I'm going to let her rest, but come on. Oh, oh, oh. Jennifer Torres out there? What? I'm talking on YouTube. You want to go around the whole nail on that tip? Go around all the way. We have a, a few Dremel nail videos, so go check those out if this is what you're trying to do. I guess I can put this away now. Come on, don't forget the dew claw. sucker is awesome. It's so powerful. Look at all this dust. Okay, this is just what's on my hand. So you're breathing that stuff in. Make sure you have a face mask at least to help. Nothing's 100%, so you just try try your best to protect your lungs, protect your what you're doing. All right, let's take this baby off. You did good. You did good. All right, I'm going to close you guys out. I'll be right back. We're going to put her in the bath real fast. All right, we're going to go bathe her, and then we'll come back in about an hour and a half or two, and maybe an hour and a half, and do dot some Dotsons together. So if you want to watch that, make sure you check the dashboard. It may not show you uh, notifications. Be it, you may so you may still be getting your notifications if you're if you're if you got the bell highlighted. You may still get the notifications in your email, but you might not get a ping on your phone. So just check your email or um, just come to the dashboard and check that out. So you can see some of the tools I used was a Tim Blade all day long, hemostats, uh, ear powder, gloves. I got my feet covers on so I don't get hair all over my shoes and ruin my shoes faster. I got my face mask, made my Betty Dyer. I have a groom loop, a table, arm. Uh, I have a lot of emails to reply to, so don't worry, I'll be emailing you for the tool questions that you guys have. I have a lot of cameras, 
and I have a lot of everything. We're going to use the shampoo now, Rainforest Shampoo Cologne. That's uh, folks' favorite. It smells so delicious. So if you want to get any of the tools, support us by watching us and ordering at MyFavoriteGroomer.com and you get the dog up stand at DogUpStand.com. Thanks a lot for being here. I really appreciate it. Thanks for your donations, those of you who contributed. I hope you had fun and I love you guys. We'll talk to you later. Uh, be sure to smash that like button. Make sure your notification bell is on. Talk to you later. Prayers out for the owner, too. Love you guys. Bye.